Welcome back guys to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up parental controls on Windows 10. Um, so for like every other parent, um, I would say it's always hard to keep track of your child's activity, especially if they need their computer or laptop for homework or to play games with friends, so on and so forth. Sometimes it's hard to you know, monitor exactly what they're doing, especially if you have other children as well, that you can't always just sit and watch what they're doing. So uh, Microsoft actually um, made a filter and a control setting that you can, um, that you can set up for your child so they won't be able to um, look up any uh, material that they're not supposed to um, and yeah we'll uh, just get right into it um, there's obviously multiple features you can do app limits um, you can even control how long they're on the computer for which is nice as well um, and yeah let's just jump right into it so first we're gonna want to go to Windows and then we're gonna want to hit settings from here you want to locate accounts from here we're going to want to go to family and other users here you can see that I already have my other account so I'm just going to redo everything just so then you guys can see what exactly um, what exactly you're supposed to do so from here you can hit manage family settings online oh no sorry not that one add family member and then from here you can add a member and then if it's your very first um, email for your child then you can just create one right here and then here you can make up whatever email I was gonna say how to see if that works at Outlook or you also have the option of hotmail.com so we're going to click next see if that works yes it did and then here you can make up whatever password to make your life a lot easier just going to do that and then first name and last name And then here your region. I just put whatever e uh, whatever birthday. Doesn't really matter. Um, but I would put the correct um, date uh, year that they were born. Um, I'll show you why in a second. So let's just go here. Okay, and then hit next. Okay, and then now they've joined. So this is great. You can see right here. You can change what kind of account it is. It's just gonna be a standard user, child, of course. And then we're gonna manage family settings online. Okay. Okay, perfect. So now, obviously, let's just say you have two children and one of them is um, younger than the other one. I think this one's 16 and then it will be 14. Um, and let's just go, um, let's manage their screen time. So here you can either pick, so if they have an Xbox one, you can turn this on and then you can limit 
what time they're able to play. So if you want them just to play for, I don't know, let's say one hour. Let's remove that and let's just say one hour. Hold on a second, I forgot to hit add. So let's just say one hour, save that. And then it'll just be one hour on Sunday. And change this, remove that. And then let's say, come back home from school. And then till, let's say 5.30. Add that, save it. And there you go. And you'll see when they're allowed. And then let's go to Windows 10. So for when they're on your computer, um, same, same exact same thing. Just remove, remove that one that they, the Microsoft Word, uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft already put on. Let's go 6 p.m. till 7. Sure. And then let's do another one from 8 till 9. Perfect. So. Let's go here and you'll see right here like that. And um, yeah, you'll see that there. So that's good. And then you can just, every individual one, you can add time or whatever you want. Um, and then here's another feature, app and game restrictions. This is for obviously apps and other things. You can turn it on and then it will let you set app limits for your, here, let's turn this on to see if it does. Sure. And then you can get a weekly report emailed to you, which is great. And then here, perfect. And then you can just figure that out. It'll show you what to do. And then content restrictions. So for here, for websites, which is a big one, I would say, you can block inappropriate websites. You can turn this one on. And then allow these web, oh, no, oh, didn't mean to do that. And then you want to, Okay, and then allow all these websites. Oh, sorry, only allow these websites. Come on. So let's say tsn tsn.ca, and then you have to hit add. And that'll be that. And then you can also block, like, just say CanadaPost.ca, just, just for an example. I'll block that one. Or if they're spending too much time on games, I'll just do. This is a very popular one, Mini Clips. Used to play it as a kid as well. Loved it. And then, or if you want, you can just only allow these websites so you can actually pick which websites your child can go on so let's just say sure add it and then your child will only have two websites that they can go on and everything else will be blocked which is very handy um, any child recommend, I mean, um, any age recommendation. So whatever your child's age is, then let's just go 14. And then here it also say what else is blocked. And I'll show you everything. All the browsers. Block. And then if you want, you can obviously just so let's say I want Firefox, I just remove it, yes, unblock, and then 
chop could just use that one. Spending, I don't really know why they put spending, since I don't, I don't know about you, but I don't think my my child would have a Mastercard or Visa at sixteen and fourteen. So yeah, let's just let's just turn all this stuff off, and then find your child as well. Oh, this will just show you the map on where your child logged in um, the last, which is very convenient. Just knowing if they're at, you know, a friend's house. Oh, sorry, it was eleven years. This this one's eleven years old. Made a mistake. Not fourteen. My bad. But yeah, I think it's a very handy tool to have. And yeah, and then as obviously the your child grows and ages, then obviously you'll slowly start unlocking more websites and more usage for them to use for school and for essays and whatnot. All right, this is how to tech tips. If you haven't already, then. Don't be afraid to subscribe and to like this video. Alright, keep teching on.